We want to honor God because He sees everything. You were born with a plan and a purpose. He's the God of all things possible. He's the God of all miracles. To Grace Grace with Nina Michelle. I'm Michelle Humphreys. And I am Nina Keegan. Welcome to our broadcast today. Today we're just going to be talking about how everything that can be shaken is being shaken right now in our world. And it, you know what? We don't even have to tell you. All you have to do is look around and see our wide open borders, see the lawlessness and the chaos, see pro-Hamas protests everywhere, see that, that there's that there's, you know, just people are coming against Israel. See that, you know, people are are are, are just uh, there's issues with our border and, and and that there's there's issues with like food plants being being you know burned down and farmland being overtaken. See just the inflation, the gas prices, the food prices, just every single thing that can be shaken will be shaken. And so today we're going to be talking about what the Bible says about that. In end times, because, you know, the wars alone, rumors of wars and all these things that are going on, Israel, Ukraine, Russia, you know, lined up with, with, with ships right now off the coast of Florida. You know, there's so many things happening. But what is God doing in this time, shaking all these things? It's crazy, isn't it, to even be saying some of the things that we're saying right now? Yeah, exactly. You, you can't even believe that we're talking like this, but God has prepared us and he chose you to live during this time. And so I think it is one of the most exciting times on the planet because we could actually be witnessing the rapture of the church because the Bible says that in the twinkling of an eye that Jesus is going to come back and we shall forever be like him. And these are the signs. He says, no man knows the day or the hour. Mm -hmm. But he said, these are the signs of the birth pains. And basically he said, everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And that means if we have things in our own personal lives, anything that is not right with God, I believe the Lord is saying to us today, get it right. Get it right. Get that oil in your lamp. Get yep. those wicks trimmed to make sure you're ready for the soon return of Jesus Christ because there's a whole lot of shaking going on. And you know what? Let me just say, when it, let me read this scripture. I think it's, it's, you know, in Haggai 2, 6 or 7, it says, And again the Lord says, Once more I will shake not only the earth but the heavens. Once more... Once more means shaking all the things that can be shaken as far as what man made, because the things God made will never be shaken. God will not be moved. God cannot be shaken. God is, is sovereign over all. He's not up there worried or fretting, but he is gonna shake all of these, the crazy man-made doctrines, all the things that, that are coming into our churches. You know why are, you know, the Bible says, that the, that the judgment will come to the church first. And, you know, we have been so complacent. The church, the pews are just people just show up and they want to come in here, their little feel-good message to make themselves feel good about their lives and not coming to a place of repentance, not coming to the place where we just fall on our face in, in repentance and want to just hunger and thirst for the Lord again. And, and the pastors, we need to be speaking again Against all of these things and no, you know, even as far as elections and, and who to vote for and, and all of these kinds of things. Okay, you know, I don't care who you like or don't like that's on the ticket. You know, when it comes to all of the things that 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 are coming against what 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 
Christianity says and what the Bible says. You know, it, the Bible doesn't doesn't say that we should be all about LGBTQ for a whole month and drag queen story hours and all of these crazy things. Who is the party that is for those things? Who is the party who is allowing pro Hamas to come against Israel right now? You know, we have to be so careful that we don't go over and get mad about a mean tweet or something. Because, you know, who hasn't gotten mad about something? Who hasn't said something in anger or in haste? You know, we are not perfect. And when we start to be judgy about all of those things, we are missing the big picture. And isn't that what the devil wants? It's, it's deceive, distract, destroy. It's like dangle this over here so you miss the big picture over here. We're over here swallowing a maggot to spit out a fly. We're coming against these things that don't don't really matter in forsaking all of these big issues to the Lord. It's these are the things children are missing. Eighty five thousand children are missing. That's that's like a holocaust. Where's the children? You know, there's so many things you have to go do some research for yourself. We are preaching the truth here because these things are being shaken because God wants them shaken. God wants these things that have been hidden to be revealed. He wants these things to be to be shown and the light to be shown in the darkness. So if we're not speaking about this, if we're not telling people about Jesus, have you talked about Jesus lately to anyone, a neighbor, anybody? You know, we need to get about doing what the Lord's business is. Go tell because people are scared. The shaking is scaring people. And now's our time to step it up, to, to be the church yes. and to step it up and during this time and bring people to the Lord because the fear that these people have, you know, that's what the devil wants. But God wants us to use this as an opportunity to, to preach about him and his good news. And, it, you know, what the devil means for harm. You know, Michelle, God has a good purpose and a plan for all of those things. Amen. He does. And this is an opportunity to, uh, to just, because people are afraid, begin to make a strategy uh, for your neighborhood. You can start with your people. Jesus started with 12, right? So who's around you that you can witness to? It is true that people are afraid. They're watching all of these things you know, the, that Nina just mentioned, I won't go over another list, but things are shaking. And, and so what they need is something that is firm. What is firm? The word of God, the truth of Jesus Christ is firm. That's our firm foundation. And so like Jesus told Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevent it will not prevail against it. So we have a kingdom that when you ask Jesus into your heart, it cannot be shaken. Now your neighbors may or may not know Jesus. And what I would encourage you to do during this time, knowing all these things are happening, is begin to call out to the Lord and pray for your neighbors. Lift them up. One by one, if you go on walks every day, pray over your neighborhood, pray house by house and ask the Lord to bring them in. Invite them to your church. A lot of people go to church when the neighbor invites them. And so we're gonna talk a little bit more about that when we come back. I'm excited to announce that we're bringing back our best offer ever on our original My Slippers. You save $90 a pair with your promo code. And now My Slippers come in even more sizes. Smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new styles and colors. Get them for your friends, your family, your neighbors, everyone you know. What makes My Slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not gonna find in any other slippers. My Slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help relieve stress on your feet. I'm so confident that you and everyone you know are gonna love My Slippers that I'm extending my 60 day money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024, making them the best Christmas gifts ever. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90. That's only $49.98 a pair. Quantities won't last long, so please order now. Welcome back to Grace Grace with Nina Michelle. We're talking about 
Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. But we, as the body of believers, do not have to fear. We know that it's coming, but what we need to do is think about those who don't know the Lord that are that are trembling without hope. And so uh, the other day I was looking at Facebook and I was uh, looking at a family that my mother-in-law, Joy Humphreys, uh, had prayed for. They were just neighbors of my mother-in-law and they weren't saved. None of the, no one in the house too. was saved. <laughs> she prayed over every single neighbor. You could hear her if she had her windows open. She was praying over her neighbors, her family. Uh, it, it, every She was praying for those people who had no hope. And I was looking at this Facebook post of this family that she had prayed for. And what as she prayed for them, one got saved the other got saved, the other got saved. They went into ministry. And now I'm looking at this godly heritage that came from one little lady in a house praying. And I am telling you that that's what your neighbors need right now. They don't need us to sit back and judge them. They need us to intercede on behalf of them before our heavenly father who will send grace and mercy to them just like he did to us. And then they will have an unshakable kingdom. Yeah, the blessing is in the shaking. Because yeah. if you think about it, I know myself, I know, you know, if you think about, maybe go back to when you were saved and hopefully you're saved. And if you're not, we'll, we'll pray about that yeah. at the end. But, you know, if you think about like, where where did God find any of us? You know, it's always Usually it's in the pit. You know, you, God, in your time of shaking, when everything in your life might be just falling apart and you just feel like the, it can't get any worse. And yet then there's God because that's where he just finds us. When we, when we are just at our wits end, literally the Bible has a scripture that says, when you're at your wits end, you know, God will never leave you or forsake you. And sometimes we're just so stubborn that that's what it takes for us to turn to Jesus. You mm -hmm. know, um, I know Michelle and I, you know, we have been involved in doing some fundraising events in Palm Beach and we know it's a very, very wealthy zip code. And, and when we were trying to come in there to do an Orphan's Promise event for orphans, People were saying, no, nope, nope, they don't normally, not too concerned about orphans here, but, Just but puppies. bring us some sick animals and you'll make tons of money. And we thought, well, now we truly know why we're here. And because God wants to reach these people as well, because they're really not in the pit too much. You know, they're not rolling they don't up. Under, they don't understand. They're not rolling up to their church and their, you know, Rolls Royce with their perfect lives saying, I think I need Jesus today. But I'm telling you, the, the, it is not God's will for any man to perish and to go into all the world. And so the shaking very well could be to, to shake the ground equal playing field. That's the ground everyone is standing on, that people will stop and say, something's wrong. You, we can feel it. I can feel it spiritually. I can feel it in my soul. I can feel what's happening. We, we, you know, it, it, it is supernatural what's happening, but this is going to shake the people, the, the, the wealthy, the poor, every race, every mankind is going to feel this shaking and know that this is biblical because everything that's happening in our earth right now is listed. It's listed in, in, in end of times. These are the things that will happen. And so we don't know when Jesus is coming back, but I'm telling you, it says, when you see these things, look up. For your redemption draws near. God is, is going to purposely allow these things to go on because he loves us so much and he wants your heart. He wants you to be in the kingdom with him. He, so he loves us so much that he's going to allow us to see these things and to go through these things so that we can come to a place of repentance and so that we can be saved so that every single person has a chance to truly know God and to make him Lord and savior of his life. So there is a blessing in the shaking and a purpose in the shaking because everything has to be used for good. God says that over and over again, what the devil has meant for harm, the shaking God will use for his glory and for his good and for our good. 
Well, even like some some of these wonderful, you know, godly teachers and preachers that have, you know, fallen or, you know, had a sin or something recently exposed. It seems like there's a whole lot of shaking as far as leadership goes. And and just to speak into that a little bit, Nina, I, I just really feel like we need to be super careful not to judge, yes. uh, but but we do need to um, to to know that the Lord loves them that much. He loves them that much that He would say your secret is is out. You, you can't have secrets because once that secret is exposed, the devil no longer has that stronghold, or hopefully he doesn't. Um, it, it, it seems to lose its luster once the the secret is out, you know? And so I feel like with that, yeah. with with that type of shaking where leadership is, uh, is, is shaken. So what we want, what do we want in leadership? What do we require of leadership that they stand up to the word that they with that they that they make sure they're preaching the word that they're walking and living in the word even even uh, paul said you know you better make sure you're right with god lest you preach the gospel and lose out yourself that is a terrifying scripture. Yeah. It is a terrifying scripture and so if god loves these that have been kind of shaken out to where they're exposed that much, he's, he's laying bare everything that could hold them back from their heavenly purpose. Yes, and I do believe that in some extent, and now I'm not sticking up for any of these things or any of these sins, but I do feel like in some regards, depending on, you know, it seems like if it's in Christianity, they come against and they're going to throw every stone and fire oh, yeah. everything. But, you know, if you if you're you can do all kinds of things wrong, it seems like the two tier justice system there like there's there's everything's just overlooked. Like even and I'm just going to say things that we say, things, you know, you know, you know, this all these indictments and all these things that are coming against Donald Law Trump. Fair. And yet and yet Biden, who had these documents in his garage, they say, oh, well, he was old. He is literally the candidate to run the entire nation, and yet he was so old that they can forgive the fact that he had documents in his garage. We have to be able to stand against all of this evil, no matter what it is, because Paul killed Christians and then became one of the greatest evangelists that ever lived. David, and over and over again in the Bible, there was people who did things, but once they knew God, they were forgiven. And sometimes they're trying to look back at 30 years and, and you know, how can anybody remember or go back 30, 40 years ago in their life and remember every single thing they did? Nobody is perfect. Nobody gets it all right all the time. Amen. We have to be able to forgive and overlook these things and know that they're coming against Christians because the Bible says they will. Great will be our persecutions. And with that, we're going to come right back. We are here on the set of Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. Stay right there. We'll be right back. I'm excited to announce that we're having our biggest Christmas sale ever. You get our brand new six-piece My Towels for only $29.98. Or rejuvenate your bed with a My Pillow mattress topper as low as $99.99. Or how about my pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98? There's something for everyone. Duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. Well, I know my pillow products make for the perfect Christmas gifts, so I'm gonna extend my money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024. So go to mypillow.com now or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get huge discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you get our six piece towels for only $29.98, or get your very own my pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98. It's our biggest Christmas sale ever. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last. Welcome back to Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. We are talking about the shaking of God and how the earth is shaking at this at this moment in time. And there there's a scripture that says his winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn, but he will burn up 
the chaff with unquenchable fire. So a lot is at stake here. There are a lot of Christians that, you know, well, there are a lot of Christians that basically bought into cheap grace. They accepted Jesus as Lord for fire insurance, not to go to hell, but they never made him Lord. And, and this is, I believe the Lord is gonna shake the earth because he's trying to get some of these people that just went up and said a prayer, checked the box, and then they live their life. Maybe they go to church, maybe they don't, but they believe that because they prayed that prayer that all is well. Jesus has to be Lord. And the Bible says that if, if we're not really his, he, we're, is, he's gonna, it says he's gonna burn with unquenchable fire. That is a terrifying scripture. And it's not because that's what he wants because the Bible says, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So what we need to realize is that guys, we need to make sure it says to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yep. That's a shaking. And sometimes we go through things. We, we, it says in this world, we're going to have tribulation, but do not be afraid I have overcome the world. I remember Nina, when I was in my uh, 30s, I had a good friend from high school that ended up at MD Anderson. Now, Nina and I live in Houston and we um, you know, are by MD Anderson. So often when our friends from other parts of the earth come to Houston, we're down there visiting and praying with them and whatever, but she was dying. And, and uh, I, I, she had been um, someone that I dearly loved. We spent a lot of time together as uh, teenagers and uh, we went from junior high to high school. And, but she was, she was uh, a worldly person. She just was very worldly. And, you know, she might've gone to church sometime, but not really, didn't really know the Lord. So she didn't want visitors at MD Anderson, but I, I happened to be across the street at another hospital and I thought, I, I'm gonna bring her a Bible. And I brought her this Bible with fear and trembling. I really did. And um, turns out that she, it, it just became part of who she was. Mm -hmm. And right before she died, she said, you know, Michelle, I am grateful that I had this. And I know that sounds, she said, I know that sounds crazy. She said, I would not know Jesus. I would not be spending eternity in heaven if I had not reached out to Jesus during this time. And I don't understand that. You know, I don't understand it, but God does. And one day we're gonna understand all this stuff. I, I don't even pretend to understand it, but I just know that the shaking that went on in her life was the shaking that allowed her to enter the gates of heaven. And she did go on to be with the Lord and I miss her to this day. And see, so God has a purpose and a plan for everything, even the shaking, even the bad things that will be used for good to, to bring us. It's more important for, for, for God to know that we are his, that we will be in eternity with, 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 with him than to allow us to just go through life, you know, willy nilly, just sort of half in, half out. He said, if you're lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. I will say, I never knew you get away from me. And that's the people who, you know, have done all these things for the Lord. You know, your heart means more to God than anything else. I don't care about all these things that you've done. If your heart isn't completely completely set and sealed on the Lord, then, then what good is all of it? So if God is shaking your nest like a mama bird does when it's kicking the babies out, it's got to shake that nest and get them out of their little comfort zone so that they can learn to fly. That is what God is doing. What does he require of us? That's what you need to ask him. Say, Lord, in this shaking, what are you asking of me? Where am I off? 
in any way. What do you ask for, for what do you want me to do, Lord God? I, you know, ask him to just create in you a clean and contrite heart and to change anything and to pull anything out of you that is not of him because it, it, it's God's, God wants more. He wants better for us. This is really all about his wanting more for us and his blessings to be on us, to use us powerfully in this time of shaking. Get your armor on. It is time. And we're going to pray right now. Michelle. Now, if you're going through a shaking, don't feel like God's against you. Don't be condemned because it, it's going to work for your good. I really yes. believe that. Yeah. And I believe that God is still a miracle working God mm -hmm. and whatever you're going through, God's going to get you Amen. through that. Yep. So let's pray right now. If you've never asked Jesus into your heart, Let's do it now. And also, let's make sure that you're making him Lord when we pray. Yes. Lord, we thank you. And I just ask, pray, pray right now with me. We thank you, God, that you loved us so much that you died on the cross for us. We ask you right now, your word says, you're standing at the door of our heart, that if we open the door, you will come in and sup with us. And that Lord, that we make you Lord. We ask you to forgive us of our sins. We pray God that we will be unshakable. We ask you because we will be so steeped in your word and in your truth that God, that we will be unshakable. We ask you that we would be right with you. If you have been a Christian a long time and your heart is not right, if your heart has hardened, if you have waxed cold, we pray God melt our hearts, break our hearts for the things that break yours. We pray this, that you will make our hearts right in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Well, we thank you for watching our broadcast. We love you guys. God bless you. Does science disprove God? Is there a war between science and faith? We don't need God to create a universe. There's no evidence for God, and it's irrational. Is there no evidence for God? Am I delusional for my beliefs? It is delusional and stupid. Am I brainwashed? Do I ignore reason? Logic. Critical thinking. Science. RDOF uses logic and reasoning. RDOF has empowered my sons to defend their faith with facts. If you want to be equipped to defend against the biggest objections to the existence of God, RDOF is the place for you. Has science really ruled out God? Is faith at war with science? If you want to be equipped to respond to these claims and more, check out RDOF.org. The evidence he presents is so powerful and overwhelming. Incredibly compelling, yet easily understandable. We believe in rationality, we believe in reason, we believe in science, and we believe in the existence of God. I would leave every event with a mind-boggling awe and assurance. I never believed in God. I just think it was craziness. RDOF confirmed my faith. RDOF confirmed my uh, full belief, full faith in the Lord, man. The appearance of design in the universe is undeniable. The lights, the crowd, the videos. To book a presentation or watch our free videos, go to rdof.org or find us on Facebook at RDOF Events.